Hello, this is Jason Styron with Cognex. Just making a quick video here to show you the ease of use of our Surface FX job that is written for our Easy Builder interface and our Insight smart cameras. So, using Surface FX, it's a multi image algorithm where it requires four images. This test is using our emulator interface with a, a database of four images looking at a a coin and this coin is used just to give us some 3d characteristics that will really show the power of our surface effects algorithm and uh, just to show you how this job works you load it in and you have a sequence surface effects tool this tool grabs a right image bottom image a left image and a top image and we can show this simply by um, cycling through these emulator images and this would work whether it's a live acquisition or emulator acquisition. So just by clicking once, you'll see that I'm using the, the right light and that's going into the group right. And we have acquired an image and latched it into this group. And as we cycle through the other images for bottom, left, and top, as soon as that top image is latched, the group surface effects image runs and we get a surface effects image that greatly increases the contrast, the three dimensional contrast, so that we can use vision tools to get very good performance of reading uh, certain data in the image. So we're on the inspect step. If we wanted to add a easy tool like our OCR max tool, we can simply go and add the tool. And as soon as it pops up, you'll see we get a region of interest. We simply put that region of interest over our target and get it placed over this curved surface just the way we need it to read this text that is on a curve here. And it does take a little bit to get the tool right where we want it. But now that we've got it set on there, what we want to do is we don't want the latest acquisition image we want the image that is out of the surface effects tool. So we simply select surface effects image, hit OK. And now we have a tool that uh, only runs or I should say reads this image. So now that we have that tool on here, you can see we're getting our data. What we need to do is go train up some characters for our OCR max tool. So I can just type in America and hit train all. And now you can see we just trained all of our characters in this tool and we can read it. Now there is one step to do. What we want to do is take this text or this OCR tool and add it to our group surface effects uh, group so that it only runs when the surface effects image is available. And we simply do that by clicking on the group tool, going down and selecting text, adding it, inside the group tool and now when we run through and capture these images group surface effects runs we get the surface effects image and we run our OCR tool so I'll just click slowly through these you can see acquiring a image with the right light bottom light left right top light and then we have our surface effects image and the text that runs on there so if you had this running on a job you could simply hit the play button and you'll see the images acquire. And every time the fourth image is acquired, the surface effects image is produced. The OCR tool runs and outputs your uh, string data for that OCR tool.